Hey students, I hope you're doing well and welcome to English 111. Um, guys, I typically video myself and do my welcome introduction so you can see my face and um, hopefully get to know me a little bit better through this online platform, but I am unfortunately um, down with some sickness, so I hope this is a good alternative. So um, who am I? My name is Logan Dupree and I will be your English 111 instructor. Um, I've been at Gaston for several years now and I love this school and I love the students here. Um, a little bit about me, um, I uh, currently live on an operating horse farm um, with my family. Um, this is my husband Wheeler and my three children, um, Adeline, JT and Colt. Um, I have three children under the age of six, probably whom you can hear in the background right now. Um, and they are all just the light of my life. Um, I went to NC State University for my undergrad and I got my undergrad in English literature. And then I went to ECU for my grad work um, while studying Hawaiian literature and culture um, with a trip over to Europe and did some studying there um, for multicultural and transnational literature studies. Um, we're very active in our church and our community. Um, I'm from the West Lincoln area um, and still just very proud to call this community home. So in the discussion board this week, I want to know a little bit about you. There are some questions to prompt you, um, but a few things that you can think about. If you have a preferred name um, that is not in Blackboard, I'd love to know what that is so I can refer to you as the correct name. Um, if I don't, please correct me. It can be really hard to remember in an online setting. Um, so if I respond to you in a way that you do not prefer, um, please correct me. I will not take it offensively and I, I want to know about you. Um, you can share where you're from and why you're at Gaston. What are your goals here and uh, what are you doing here? And then where are you headed? Where are your long-term goals leading you? So let's talk a little bit about English 111. Um, you're going to see in the lecture notes this week, um, the theme of the course is who are you and who do you want to become? So we're going to be writing three main essays this semester. One is a eulogy, one is a profile essay, and, one, and the final one is a cause and effect essay. So um, I'm going to show you how to navigate Blackboard here in just a second. But I want to talk to you about this really important topic called growth mindset. So I first want to ask you, what is growth mindset to you? Um, growth mindset, essentially, y'all, it is the idea that you have the capability to grow through your effort. Now, I don't want you to mistake uh, what this means. This does not mean that you're going to be perfect. This does not mean that you are going to be an expert. It means that through your effort and hard work, you have an opportunity to grow. Um, this is a great YouTube. Um, and again, we're going to be talking about this as the semester progresses. Um, but I want you to watch this YouTube link as you think about this concept and idea. And then what questions do you have so far? Once you get through this announcement and you um, go through the course and Blackboard and how to navigate those things, um, please do not hesitate to reach out and ask any questions. So I want to talk to you a little bit about this Blackboard course layout. Um, here in the announcements section, you will be receiving one of these announcements every single Sunday, okay? And what this is, it'll be a short little video, and it'll kind of recap what we did the week before, um, and then it'll cast the vision of what we're going to do the following week. I would make it an academic habit on Sunday night or Monday morning um, to review this so that you know what the expectations are for that week. Below that is the syllabus, and I'm not going to click on that because it'll take you to our syllabus website, but it is always there for your viewing. The next thing that we have here is course information. Um, this is your course schedule and learner support information. Guys, one thing I want to talk to you about with this course schedule is it is a loose schedule, an overview. Your week by week dates are at another place that I'm going to show you soon. Faculty information. Here's my contact information and a little bit about me. 
Um, the thing that I want you to really keep in mind is this is my personal telephone number. You're welcome to text, call, or email me. Um, and I try to make myself super accessible for your learning. And then the first thing that you're going to go to after you review this video is this welcome start here module. And you're going to review the syllabus video that walks through our course syllabus. You're going to take this course entry quiz. And then there's a couple more supplemental videos that are going to help you. Um, I go through a few things with the Gaston College website that will be helpful to you as the semester progresses and you run into some issues. And then this is just a quick how to with my Blackboard page. If you forget where something's at, I try to keep this here so that you can remember, especially for those of you where this is the first online course that you've ever taken. And then perhaps the most important thing, your weekly folders and assignments. So you can't see this right now. You won't be able to see it till tomorrow morning, but this is what you're going to be seeing every week. This is your weekly folder, the course objectives that you're going to be covering, and then your assignment due dates. So as you can see for this week, you have your syllabus agreement, which is due this Wednesday. You have your initial discussion board posting your response to a course mate, and then you have a couple very short assignments that are due on Sunday. So if you click on that week, this is a general overview of what you'll see. You have some lecture notes, a couple videos that I'd like you to watch, and then your assignments directly below. Guys, here's the thing, you will never have to search for your homework. Everything you will need to be successful that week is in your weekly folder. However, one thing I want you to get in an academic habit about is looking at that folder every Sunday night or Monday morning so that you can get an idea of how much work is going to be due that week and create a strong plan of action um, to complete the work. The next thing are your ebooks and materials. Here's your bookshelf for your e text, and here's instructions on how to access those e texts. The next thing is your essay topics and handouts. This week, we actually start diving into what our first essay is going to be about, but this is a folder that you can refer back to if you ever have questions or you need access to those handouts. For example, right here, here is your essay and handout, and here's an example of what that's going to look like. And then finally, um, Zoom meetings. Um, that is truly not something that I use here through Blackboard. What I ask you to do is send me an email with a few times if you ever need to set up a Zoom appointment or if you'd like to come see me in person, that is great too. Um, guys, I hope this was helpful. And again, don't ever hesitate to reach out and ask questions. Online courses can be really challenging and it requires great communication on both our parts. So reach out, um, ask your questions, and I'll always be happy to help and support you. I'm looking forward to a great semester together.